Hello, my name is Michelle Baker. I'm a licensed mortgage loan originator with Executive Mortgage in Greenville, Michigan, coming to you today with some more mortgage news that you can use. Today I'd like to discuss with you some very important do's and don'ts when obtaining a home mortgage in regards to purchasing or refinancing. So first to start with some of the do's, make sure that you shop around for a home loan. Make sure that you interview several different real estate agents, mortgage brokers, and other settlement service providers. Be sure that you read and understand everything before signing. Accurately report all of your debts. Be honest about the sources of funds that you use. Be wary of any unsolicited offers that you receive in the mail or through email. Make sure that you always pay your mortgage on time, even if you're having a dispute with a loan servicer, the company that you're making your payments to. If you're having problems paying your mortgage, be sure to contact your servicer immediately. Now to go over some of the don'ts. Do not change jobs when you're in the middle of purchasing a home. There are times when it would be acceptable, but be sure that you speak with your mortgage loan officer before you do that. Um, most of the time if you do change jobs it could cause a delay because we're going to need to sh document that you have at least 30 days year-to-day earnings meaning sometimes you have to be on the job for six weeks before you'll get paycheck stubs that document 30 days year-to-day earnings. Be sure that you do not switch money around from one bank account to another until the mortgage broker has verified all of the funds and before you switch any funds around be sure you check with your mortgage loan officer to make sure that that's not going to cause a problem be sure that you do not pay off any bills a lot of times we look at the assets that are in the checking and savings accounts and those monies will show that you have sufficient funds to pay your closing costs to pay your down payment Sometimes the money is not to be used for the home loan, but instead we're showing that you have that money in reserves for emergency purposes. So sometimes once the money is gone, you no longer have an approval if you don't have those reserves. Be sure that you don't make any other major purchases. Um, when we calculate out your debt to income ratio, we're basing that on your existing debt load. So a purchase of uh, an, a home, a, any other type of uh, vehicle or appliances or anything like that could really change your debt to income ratios. And don't sign any blank documents. Don't overstate your income. Do not overstate your length of employment. Do not overstate your assets. Do not change your income tax returns. Do not list any fake co-borrowers on your loan application. And do not provide any false documentation or permit anybody else to provide any false documentation on your behalf. So these things are very important. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me directly at my office, 616-225-9700, or my cell phone, 616-485. 8935. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Mortgage News that you can use. We'll talk soon.